Yeah, Dave, but uh, Logan Webb, Webb obviously pitched really well tonight. What did he do uh, what was it about his game plan that kept you guys at bay? Um, I, I think, I just think, to be quite honest, we didn't make adjustments. Um, I thought he had good command tonight, um, mostly the glove side versus, uh, versus right-hand hitters. Um, then the uh, the slider, the change down below, and we just chased uh, a lot more than we should have. And, and so, um, you know, if you don't make adjustments, then they're going to keep going to the well. And that was kind of the uh, you know the story of. of, of uh, but yeah, credit to Logan. Right there, Chelsea in the back. On that note, was it part of the game plan to be really aggressive with him earlier, or was that just sort of a product of what he was giving you guys? Um, product of what he was giving us. Um, I, I think, um, yeah, I mean, he was making pitches, he was getting ahead, and then strike one, obviously, he values, but um, as we got into counts, got guys on base, uh, we just became hyper aggressive out of the zone. <clears throat> Straight to back on the left. Hey, David Mercury, Colorado Survey, Area Sports Rock. I asked you earlier about Walker's last uh, start. How you said you made too many mistakes. What did you see tonight from him? Did he make the same same mistakes he did back in September? Um, no, no. I, I thought um, obviously there was a leadoff walk. And I fell behind Buster, and uh, he had a homer the other way. After that, I thought he really settled in. Um, so he didn't get stressed all night. I mean, I think that he, he threw the baseball really well. Um, we got 3-2 to uh, Brian and um, put a good swing on it. But I think overall, 6-plus or you know, so whatever it was, um, I, I thought Walker threw the ball fine. So nothing like that last one here. Right down here, Bill. Right. Dave, I think people from the outside might look at Max Muncy's home run total and think that's all he does. But he's so much more for your offense. Can you talk about what you're missing? And also, given that you've been a little short on the offense, can you maybe consider playing Gavin or Chris tomorrow? Um, yeah, um, Max obviously, it, it's, uh, in, in last year, he, he's a threat, he, he gets on base, he can drive runs in, and, you know, when you're talking about games like this, every base matters, and, and keeping the line moving, and, uh, it's a big point, um, but it's where we're at, um, to your other question, uh, Chris is going to play tomorrow, um, I'm going to play him in center field, um, and I'll put Cody at first base. Craig, here in the middle. And it's just kind of going off the like, bottom of your order didn't have a hit today. When you lose a guy like Muncy, do you need production from the top of the order to kind of make up for that loss of production? Or do you need kind of some other guys in the bottom of the order to kind of step up? I, I think it's certainly a combo. But, I, you know, even the guys at the top of the order still got to take it good at bats. And, and so, you know, you can't bet on production, but you do give yourself a much better chance when you stay in the strike zone. And I think that, you know, there's a few guys that, I, in my opinion, I thought took great at bats all night long, and, and granted, Logan was really good. Um, but outside of that, there's guys at the top end, the bottom, that didn't take good at bats tonight. Dylan, far right. Dave, um, you know, last year you guys drove in a ton of runs with like two outs, right? And one of the things that you guys talked about was just the situational hitting was just kind of better. Um, you know, I know like the last week and a half, guys scored a ton of runs, but a lot of them obviously came on the home run. Is there any kind of danger in kind of maybe you guys slipping back into being that team that you know kind of needs the home run to score? You know, I, I don't think so, Dylan. I, I think that postseason baseball, granted, they had a couple homers tonight, but I think that you know you can. You, I just don't think you're trying to hit a home run. And um, last year we lived by the homework in the regular season, but I thought, you know, the postseason we brought out a different club and, and we got deep in accounts, took walks and used the whole field, kept the line moving, and um, and you're going to run into some homers that way. So I think that tonight it just, like I said, the first thing I said is we just didn't make, it, make an adjustment all night long. I thought we had the same club all night long, and that was a driver. And so um, you got to kind of read and react sometimes. Straight back in the middle. Dave, what's your level of confidence that Julio going tomorrow? Great. Um, it was great that we, we got to stay away from that wild card game. Um, so having him take them out tomorrow certainly is something to feel good about. Yeah, over there on the far left. 
Yeah, Dave, uh, Walker said he wasn't surprised that Buster swung 3-0 there. What are your thoughts there and just kind of the, the location of the pitch on 3-0 count right there? Um, I don't think anybody, anybody in the ballpark was surprised that he was swinging 3-0. He does that frequently. Um, it was good that in the sense that you make a guy beat you the other way, um, but he's obviously got strength that way. So you got to give credit to Buster to get into a count, into a hitter's count, and, and he put a good swing on it. Front row here, left mic. Hey, Dave. Uh, a lot of guys were saying that the momentum from Wednesday could carry over to this series, but I know you're a big proponent of you know, the momentum was only the starting day pitchers. So how does Julio and your bats come back tomorrow and take the momentum back from these guys? Um, I, I know Julio's going to be prepared. Um, these guys uh, do a really good job in the first inning, and um, it, it was apparent tonight. So to have that shut down first inning and, and potentially put up a run in, that, in the top uh, would be helpful. And, you know, Justin's ball in that first inning, Logan knocked it down, and that was a base hit. You know, there was no shift. It was a base hit. It would have been a base hit. So, but it wasn't to be. So I think that to your question, you know, coming out there, taking good at bats in the first inning, and uh, you know, putting on a shutdown inning in the first. Yeah, Dave, uh, you talk about the adjustments. Obviously, you've seen what a few times this year. Is there anything that he did differently that maybe sort of that off? No, he, he had good command, and, and there were some mistakes in there that we didn't hit. But again, I think the, the bottom line, the story is that we swung at a lot of balls out of strikes on tonight. Anything else for Dave? Dave, thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.